I really like the race as a whole from a general rule. It rated extremely well to the day and from an overall pace rating perspective, I did have the race going at a genuine tempo from a figures there. But zoom on, as it kept on us there by Bartholomew Diaz, it was a really good push early in the race. But what Tim Clark did between the 1200 and the 600 was he just got a bit of a breather and got some nice cheap splits in there. And we're going to see that clearly in his splits here because that's six to the four and the 1143. But look at him build here, the four to the two, 1134. But what he does here, that 116 goes to the second fastest last 200 meters. So he was just able to conserve enough energy there to get this big effort out of him here over the last 50 meters and then bold mac i thought him had it i thought he was home for all money good margin to third there lord ardmore was solid enough and bois d'argent was probably did perform a little bit below what i thought he would yeah had a wide trip and just yep. popped i reckon yep. the margin's a little bit misleading there because i kind of felt as though they they sort of moved into the race yep. with some promise but then the work told well this is the big difference in the 2000 meter comparison is just purely before we adjust for age and class and other factors for a middle distance race. But on raw sectionals, for this first section, the 52.91 for Faulkner's Pass Race versus Zumon in that 49.76, there's 20 lengths approximately difference. And then that uh, 86.8 against the 91.05 is 26 and a half lengths. Wow. So we know there's a big difference there. That's just how slow Faulkner's Park Race went. And that's obviously reflected again in the overall time. But Zumon's race is rated really well and I just I really like when there's that big margin of third. It just confirms the quality of the race. And as we flick over to their uh, 600, uh, their, sorry, the sectional split breakdown, look at that 11.6. You just don't usually see that. So it just shows how he, well he rated him that middle section. Bold Mac, 11.19, 11.52. He deserves a win, Bold Mac, doesn't he? Yeah. He's racing in such good form. And no, Bardo's, he doesn't anymore. Yeah, that was his year off him. He's gone. <laughs> Bardo's joined 11.31, 11.24. And Estefani, as you alluded to, 11.52, uh, 11.21. They just had to make their moves and they probably just felt the pinch, but the lightweights up the top of the market, they were just too hard to catch.